Hello everyone, my name is Ajaz Patel and I am from webfhub.blogspot.com. Welcome to the part 43 of e-commerce website development in PHP with PDO. So guys, in last tutorial we successfully create a sign up form. So in this tutorial we are going to create one table into the our database which is for the users. Yeah, okay. So we are going to localhost then we are going to php my admin then after we have a database like online store here we are going to create one table like user and have the column like uh, um, yeah let's count the column here one two three four five six seven eight nine and one for the registration date so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Yeah, and one for the uh, user ID. <coughs> so we are create uh, we are get the eight uh, 11 columns. Okay, so go. Then first one for the user ID. Then for the user name. Then for user email. Then user password then user underscore um, address yeah then user state oh sorry not state we are going to directly get the user pin code here so you pin then after we need to get the user date of birth then we need to get the user <coughs> phone number then after um, let's take a look what is remaining yeah user image user img then let's take a look at again um, country state yeah country and state remaining and then phone number Okay, so for the country, uh, we create a different table. So we directly get the C, not a CID, country ID. And here we are going to create a state ID. Okay. And then uh, we define the type. So the name will be the text email also text password also text text then this is also text date of birth is also text phone number is text user image is also text you can get the where care or anything country id will be the integer just because we need to fetch the country id from the different table which have a country table and also state id have a different table with uh, state id or state name table okay so here we are going to define the land land will be the 10 then this will be the 100 100 100 100 then this is something like uh, 10 yeah okay 10 is perfect the ob also be the 5 uh, 50 then phone number will be the 10 or 20 or something like that image is 400 country id 10 this is 10 okay then here we are going to create a primary key for the user id and it will be the auto increment okay guys then we are going to click on save button yeah okay so our user table is created now so now uh, we are going to create a one more uh, column and click on for go and here we are get the user registration date you reach date okay so it will be the timestamp yeah here it is mm, timestamp here and don't need to define the land click on save button yeah okay then coming back to here structure okay so we successfully create the 
user table so guys um, i think this is enough for today in next tutorial we are going to create a script for the user registration when someone fill up this form and click on sign up then we must have that record into this table and maintain this table okay so guys uh, this is enough for today thanks a lot for watching guys if you have any question in your mind then comment below and if you don't subscribe this channel yet so click on this subscribe button and subscribe this channel to find me directly on youtube easily and get the latest information about this channel into your directly inbox okay so guys don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and uh, if you guys are likes this video then like and share and support my channel and thanks a lot for watching guys see you in next tutorial goodbye